Hey everyone, it's Edward here from Twitty & Company. We wanted to run through some tips and tricks about driving on the four-wheel drive area, which include the communities of Seagull Beach, Swan Beach, North Swan Beach, and Caroba Beach. So the most important tip, or the most important part of driving on the beach is air pressure. So you're gonna wanna get real familiar with a Twitty & Company tire pressure gauge. We'll give these to you upon your arrival. You want to air down those tires in your uh, the pressure in the tires down to about 20 pounds max. It's really easy to do on the back of the head of this tire gauge. There's a little uh, a thing that sticks out. You can just put that on your valve, and that will reduce the air pressure. If you're real good on these, you can kind of clip it a certain way. Then you don't have to kneel down by the tire and, and just wait for it. But you can kind of clip them on there, and it'll let that air right out for you. And then you use the other end, the open end, to check that pressure firmly put it on the on the tire valve and it'll shoot out to where your pressure is and you want it to just be shooting out a little bit because it's nice and low so the main thing to look out for is the small children there's going to be people walking around looking at horses and when you do come up on the horses just make sure even though you're excited to see horses kind of try to pull off to the side where you're not really in the travel lanes that way the, the traffic can continue to flow just like on a road so when you are driving on the beach, typically you'll follow the rules of the road and you'll, you know, you'll, you'll stay to the right. But occasionally if someone's coming toward you and they're right down by the water, they may put their blinker on to signal that they're staying closer to the water. That's kind of an old school thing that we do around here. Low tide is typically going to be easier because you'll get that hard sand down by the foreshore. But at some point you are going to have to drive on softer sand, whether it's over the dune to your home or in that two and a half mile area in Swan Beach. So the main thing about driving at high tide is just making sure that air pressure is where you want it to be. You want it around 15 to 20 pounds of pressure and just go along nice and slow. The tracks can get deep. Your vehicle will probably drag the bottom occasionally, but just go along nice and slow and easy and you won't have any, any problem. But when you do stop or pull over to take pictures of horses, just try to make sure you get out of the way of the flow of traffic because you don't want to just slam on brakes and jump out of the car and, and then cars are coming up behind you or, or you might kind of make a little traffic jam. We want to explain a little bit about where you are to drive and where you're supposed to park when you're in the four-wheel drive area. This can vary a little bit on the time of year, but there's a couple things that don't change throughout the year. If you are a parked vehicle, the, the most important thing is to park perpendicular to the water and you need to be parked in the middle of the beach above that foreshore line. So where that dark sand stops, where the water came up during high tide, you want to park above that and when you're looking out your windshield you'll be facing the water or facing the dune. From Memorial Day to Labor Day there is a parking permit that is needed to park on the beach and the rules are also on the back of that parking permit. So when you park you can look at the back of the permit and you can really get a good explanation of all the rules. The speed limits are 35 when there's no one around and 15 miles per hour when you are within 300 feet of pedestrians. Service, especially if you have Verizon, has improved dramatically um, and the map functions on your phone are working better than ever before. But that being said, when we will offer you directions when you get here, but you might want to download an offline map so you can, can, you can see that really well, how to get to and from. I know we've been sharing a lot of information concerning the four-wheel drive area with you. It can be a little complex at times, but it's not that hard to navigate once you learn a couple simple things that we've already shared with you. So I hope you enjoy it, and we hope some of these tips would help you, and we look forward to seeing you on the beach cruising around.